Hey, what's up, Refers? My name is Nicolas Marion. I'm from Montreal and I have a YouTube page called Aqua Splendor where I talk about aquarium from salt water to fresh water also and I do review video about uh, pretty much anything and also talk about this kind of uh, living creature that I really love and I also have uh, my Instagram account where I share some exclusive content where uh, that take uh, much less time uh, to make and Richard from uh, Reef.com asked me to uh, feature this uh, aquarium which is my uh, main aquarium uh, from the six I have in my uh, apartment, in my small apartment, uh, it's a lot of work, I have to say. Um, this is uh, 120 liters, which is uh, 33 gallons. So yeah, I'm Canadian, so I have to convert uh, everything, every unit uh, all the time. So it's uh, 60 centimeters from here to here, which is uh, 24 inch by 45 by 45 centimeters, which is 18 inch. It's a all-in-one aquarium that I made uh, three years ago, I think. And it has been a really great aquarium for me to experiment stuff because of the goal of this aquarium is uh, for me to uh, to just get back uh, into the reefing because after like 15 years uh, with a break of salt water, uh, I thought I was going to just uh, reset my uh, my knowledge with that. And in 15 years, a lot of things uh, that changed. So this is uh, my aquarium where I purely made for testing. It doesn't look necessarily like beautiful. It, it's not like my display tank. Eventually I'm gonna make a real display tank. But I, I have a lot of gold in that that I need to, I think, uh, upgrade eventually uh, this thing. Now for the hardware, uh, for the light. Uh, the initial light that I used uh, in the past was the Aqualumination uh, Prime HD. Then I upgrade to the Kessel uh, A360 WE which is uh, currently the, the one that I'm using right now. After maybe one year, I upgrade with uh, the Aquatic Life Hybrid fixture and I'm using the um, Gizman T5 Super Purple and uh, Super Acnic, which give me a really great uh, coloration into the tank for my, to my eyes. With the camera, it's always something a little bit uh, different, but for my eyes, it's a very, very pleasing uh, look. And by the way, if you're looking for a video about the visual reference to a guide line, to know which T5 to use, you can check on my YouTube page. Uh, there's a, a lot of reference for uh, the Prime HD 16, the Kessel, the Resident G5, etc. So you can go on this uh, YouTube page. Uh, sorry, Richard, I have to plug my stuff. <laughs> Mom! Yeah? I'm a 443 subscribers! Who gives a shit? Now about the filtration, it's really really simple. I only use a floss that I change maybe uh, every one or two months and I just simply rinse with the tap water. And after that I have activate carbon and I have some uh, GFO. And after that I have some uh, Biomedia, which is a, a bunch of mix of all the filtration stuff that I bought over the years and I just put that into one bag. And uh, that's pretty much it for the filtration. It's a really really simple and for the water change, I basically do water change every one month or two months and something like that uh, depending on my schedule and my, my free time. But when I do a water change, it's a big one, maybe like a 50% of some time and 66%. So it's a very high uh, water change uh, and it's been working very well for that. And I think one of my secrets uh, for having like a balanced aquarium like that, that I doesn't have like a dino or algae and stuff like that, uh, oh, almost no algae. And basically I have two fish. So I don't feed a lot and I only feed what the fish can eat. So mostly uh, during the week I feed the dry pellet for the fish, uh, mostly for the pig, uh, by pig I mean the clownfish. Then after that I try to not feed too much the damsel springery because I want to make sure that he hit the, the flatworm that I have in my tank. So it's a right nice balance between uh, not feeding too much and making sure like that he hunt uh, through the aquarium. And for the coals, I feed uh, during the Sunday and I do a big feeding, target feeding for all the coals. And that's pretty much it. And initially I was feeding my coals like two times a week and uh, I was struggling with the phosphate and the nitrate. And when I got to just one feeding once a week, this is where I find the right balance for my tank and for my also lifestyle because sometimes I'm a little bit uh, too busy. And as you can see, this is a mixed tank. I have a bunch of uh, different type of coals, uh, but they are mostly photosynthetic uh, coals because I find the feeding the coals every day is a little bit too difficult for me. And I'm trying to slow down the, the, the growth of my coal because uh, this is a nano aquarium and once the coals grow, 
uh, they, they take a little bit too much space and there's a lot of war between the, each of them. So I try to be a little bit careful and sometimes to, to frag them and just resell little frag here and there. So there's a little bit of a trimming in this tank and, and this is something I really enjoy also. It's like a bonsai, you just trim the, the leaf and the branch. So basically the, the reef tank is uh, pretty much the same thing. So about the water flow of this tank, I have two pumps. There's one, it's a written pump but made by Ahem. It's a compact 2000 plus and I have the Tunzi 6045 pump and both of them are working very well and the key of this aquarium was to make the aquarium very silent and I think I achieved that uh, I don't really hear the tank because I'm sleeping just right there so I really need a tank that is super silent also because I watch the TV at the same time so uh, yeah I want the tank super silent and it, it is silent so I'm very happy for that and because there are some SPS in my tank uh, I need to feed the alkalinity and there's a lot of burners, so uh, I have a GBO pump and I just uh, plug with uh, the alkanity and that's pretty much it. For the calcium and the magnesium, uh, I just do it by hand, time to time. And so far it has, it has been working really well for me because I know a little bit my tank, because I test a lot my tank. More a little bit more uh, at the beginning, uh, less now because the, the, the tank achieved like a more maturation and the bacteria and there's a nice balance right now. So uh, I just know a little bit my tank, I know how to, to fit it, uh, but I always test time to time uh, to make sure I'm not like too much uh, upset. And for the salt, I use the blue bucket from Red Sea. Uh, it's a bucket that I really love because of the price. Uh, it's uh, kind of cheap, honestly, and it has been working very well. Uh, in the past, I was using the Pro, but I found out that the calcium and the magnesium was a little bit too high for my needs. And so that's why I made the, the, the switch. And I'm very pleased with the, the blue bucket, honestly. It's a very nice uh, balance. And I'm looking forward to test uh, other salt also uh, in the future uh, to see if there's any uh, difference. Now about the future of this tank, uh, my dream is to uh, shut down this tank. Uh, I'm not kidding. Uh, I'm really hoping to shut down this tank because it's, uh, it's, more, it's not a display tank. And I want to make uh, something really, really beautiful. And uh, I'm look because this is more like a laboratory for me. So eventually I'm going, I'm going to do like something really crazy that is just behind this camera and I'm going to make something that nobody I think uh, I've seen before. Uh, but it's more like in 2021 because I have to make like a lot of video before. And right now I'm in a competition for a nano reef uh, aquarium. So uh, that uh, going to take my energy first. And uh, yeah, so I'm looking for the future and it's looking very promising. I can't wait to start those uh, new projects. And also I want to make a special thanks to uh, Richard uh, from Rift.com. He reached me to uh, feature this, uh, this tank. And uh, by the way, you don't know I'm going to say that, but uh, go look for the article from Rift.com because there's a lot of great article uh, that I see that are like uh, from eight years ago, some stuff like that. And there's a lot of depth article and go check on this uh, webpage because there's a lot of good stuff. So I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.